Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back to another series of the Masterclass where I, Sheldon the Sniper, teach you how to become a sniper, making it simple, making it easy, and making it accurate for yourself. So today I'm going to be showing you guys all the major tools that you need on the, on the basic chart when you're watching the show on a daily basis. And I'm going to be teaching you on how to make your chart look exactly like mine. Exactly like this. You see this chart over here? How to set these blocks, how to set these lines, and how to make it nice and simple for yourself to understand. Now, if you are new and you're looking to sign up, remember to use the link below in the description, as well as if you do have a previous free trading view account, what you want to do is you want to open a new email. You want to sign up with the link below. Reason first thing on why you're opening a new email is you want to be separating your trading world from your personal life as TradingView is going to keep your emails quite busy. By doing that, guys, what it does for us is we are partnership with TradingView. We're going to be able to get some nice, fantastic specials for the Banter fam, as well as giveaways. We're going to be doing a lot of big giveaways, and you need to be a part of that link to be getting that. And obviously, thirdly, showing your love and showing your support for the actual channel. Now, I'm going to be bringing you guys these educational videos every day, as well as the shows. And reason being, so that you can hit that like, you can hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Join the best and baddest community on the planet. We got each other's back always, as well as let's blow up Twitter. Let's show everyone how excited we actually are. Look to change your name from your name and add this sniper to the end. Let's blow up Twitter and let's show how excited we are for this new journey. No more wasting time, let's get going. So let's get going. Basic things, first things with that, you know, you keep looking at my charts every day, right? And you keep looking, wow, that looks quite difficult. This is where I'm gonna make it quite simple for you guys. Now, what we look at, you know, I, I had the basic view on the first trading view. Let's actually get the music down. Is when I showed you guys all the different sections, we got our time frames, we got our watch lists. I've now taught you guys how to use a watch list as well. Um, and then we got this nice little column on the left. Now, as you start progressing as a trader or anything, you know, you're gonna then learn more and more and more about all of these and how important they actually are. I'm gonna start it off simply for you guys and show you the main ones that we're gonna be using and that you need to make your charts look like mine. Now, the first thing is if you go into this little section com uh, column over here, you can see the different ones that I have highlighted there for you that are important. I've put in the stars here, make them your favorites so you can see which ones uh, we are using, we use the trend line. And what a trend line is, it is a nice way that I am able to take a line. I'll soon teach you on how to detect trends. But this is how I can set a line. And you can basically mimic that to whatever charts I'm showing you. Okay. We then have the horizontal lines. And these are just flat, normal sideways lines. And these will be used a lot for support and resistance and important key horizontal levels as the price um, continues and then we obviously have the horizontal ray so the difference between the horizontal line is the horizontal line drags a line through the whole chart and as you go back that line goes all the way through now sometimes we don't want that line to drag all the way back to the previous data we just want to use it on data that we have right now and that's where a horizontal ray is important because as it does wherever you select it just runs a line from that actual point over there so that's how you do it nice and simple. We then have a look, vertical line. We don't use these too much. We just use them if we're looking at specific time dates. Um, and as you can see, what it does is it draws a normal vertical line. And there you can see we basically use this for different phases or different things that we can be in the market. And then we got the next one, which is the parallel channel. Now this is one that you can use if we're starting to detect some sort of flags. Uh, let's move that I'm in logarithmic. But if there's any sort of pattern that is forming, I am able then to detect and able to run and see how these are basically running in the channels. Remember, I am going to have more personal videos on each little topic. So we can go a little bit more into depth and understand it quite a bit more. The next one that's quite important. Remember this first one at the top here, guys, you just got a cross, you just got a dot, you got an arrow. This is just for yourself to navigate your way. So it's quite simple, quite easy. 
Remember, using this on the right, you can increase up and down. And obviously, as you drag sideways with your keyboard, uh, with your mouse pad, actually, you can see how you can zoom in sideways and you can zoom in and out that way. Now, the next one that we look to use is our little scribbly. And this is if you want to scribble anything, you know, you want to sort of, before I'm doing trend lines sometimes, sometimes I'll take my little scribbly, see, is there something? Okay, cool. It's worth me using a trend line. Now I can go and go have a look at that. So you've got that one over there. We then have the rectangle blocks. Now these are quite important because every day I'm giving you guys buy and sell zones on my charts, right? And it'll be nice for you to mark up your, your actual charts. And when you start understanding how you can set alerts to these little things, you, know, you don't have to stare at your computer anymore. You don't have to stare at the actual charts anymore. You can put the zone in place. You can put an alarm on it. And when it enters either a buy zone or take profit zone, it will alert you uh, to your actual email. Remember that if you have a free account, you only get one alarm. And as you start getting a higher paid account, you actually get a lot more alarms. So as you start progressing, if you're getting a little bit more active, you will soon see what works best for you. So we got our buy, we got our actual zones. Then if we scroll down over here, we've got this little ruler section. And this ruler is just nice. Whenever you've made little movements up or down in the market, you can now measure the percentage. And you can see how it gives you the percentage to the upside as well as the time. So if you drag that over there, you can see it's taken 34 days in that time. And it is, has done a total of 44% to the upward side. And you can detect to the downward side too the time as well as the percentage. Then what we have down over here is the main ones that you need to know is when your chart's looking quite busy and you just wanna look at something, got a few lines all over the place and you know, you just, it, it's too busy right now, I don't have time to focus. You know, you can just use this little thing that hides all of your lines on the actual charts. You can use that and I'll soon, soon show you on how you can use it on individual things as well. And when I do that, I can then just bring it back at any single point. And when you want to be cleaning your whole chart up, you've got this little bin on the left here. I click that and it cleans your whole actual chart. Now, now I'm gonna be showing you guys on how to actually set up, using all of them together now, on how to actually make your chart look complete. Now, what we usually do is, whenever we have price action falling down and entering a sort of buy zone, you, know, you sort of wanna be prepared where we are either gonna be on a support, which I will have further videos on, but we usually detect lines. And what we do on that is, I'll always give you guys a support trend or something like that. And with this now is you actually want to edit that. So if you draw a line in play there, that's the line I've given you as a support. You can actually go in that and you can add text to it. Meaning that I want to make this now a support line. I want to push it. So as you can see, it will tell you the text alignment. You got your top, your middle and your bottom. I want to be using, let's say, I always use my supports at the bottom as it's a base. And what I like to do is you can either make the writing move to the left, to the center, or to the right of the actual trend line. You then, if you want a text, you may need to make sure this little arrow is on, on show text. You can set the color of your text, and then you can set the actual size. So the ones that I use here are the standard colors that I'm gonna be using out throughout the show. I'm gonna be using white as my text and as my trend lines. I usually use 12. Uh, as my sort of size. And if you jump in over here, you can also see on style, you can also have the color of the actual line as well. So I like to keep them basically the same, both white, making it simple. Now, if you double click back in here, you can see this little section at the bottom called template. Now, the problem is so many times we're drawing these things and then I got to keep redoing, I got to keep typing in support and I want to do a few charts right now. So what you can do is you can go to templates over here, you can go save as, and whatever line you have done and the way you made it look, you can save that now as a template to say, let's say support trend line, okay? And if you look at that, you can save it. And what that does for you now is it saves it over here. I already did one for you guys to show you. Now, what does that mean? It means that even if I've drawn now another line and this line was purple, okay? because I changed or something like that, I always have a standard look. I've just drawn a support line in play now. There's my support line. Now what I can do is I can go there, I can click on this little section over here where your temps are, and I can just say support trend line. And you see how it saved it for me. So I didn't have to go and type anything in. I didn't have to make it uh, difficult for my actual self. Now, that's the support. Then we have the same with resistance. 
I draw a resistance in there. I go in there, I edit my resistance. I put my resistance um, wording in there. Um, obviously your size, where you want it. There's my template saved. So you can actually go and save all of these templates so it's already all made for you. Now, there we go, I set that in. And you see how now my resistance line is set. This is fantastic because now you can go and customize your own actual charts and get all of your stuff set to the way you actually want it. So that's usually how I'm looking for breakouts or test of buys. Now, when I have these, let me actually make this one a little bit bigger. There we go. Now what I'll do is we now have the trends. Secondly, I'm gonna be giving you guys zones. So guys, I'm looking to buy here. Now the same thing with these zones is when you draw any color block, you can go in, let me get the actual block. You can go in, style, you can change it to whatever your color you want. I'm gonna be using green for buys and I'm gonna be using red as TP or target points. You can change the color. That's the border and the inside as well. And you can see how you can change the actual color of that. You can also then write inside by putting the text on and you can say entry. And you see how it then makes that block for you. Now, same thing. I can now go take that and I can go add that save as, as a template. And there we go. These are the main two that you're gonna need, entry zones and take profit zones. So that means it doesn't matter what I'm using at any point, I wanna draw a quick line in, that's where the entry is. I can click on that, go to my templates, add entry zone, there it is set for me. So now we've got a buy zone, okay? Let's make it a little bit smaller, there we go. Now, what do I do next? TP zone. So now I go, I want to be making take profits. I usually use red, and as you can see, I'll go to my templates. There we go, I got a take profit zone. So you're able to also now customize each block for yourself. So now you've got an entry, you've got a support, you've got a resistance, and you've got a take profit zone. And the third one that I use very often is stop loss. And as you can see over here, I'm gonna be using this look as my stop loss. Uh, let's get it in here. Okay, let me make this one for you quick. So I'm gonna be saying stop loss. Oh, there we go, stop loss. Let's add this, I'm gonna use yellow. I'm then going to be making my line. Do you see how you can make it dashed lines and dotted lines? Because I'm gonna be using solid lines for horizontal support and resistance, I want to make my stop loss look a little bit different, have a little bit of a dotted line. And with this text, I want to be making sure it is at the bottom. And I will make my text the same thing over there. There we go. Now I've got a stop loss line. Now what I want to do, I want to save that stop loss line. Stop loss. There we go. So anytime now I want to put a stop loss in, I'm able to select on the line, go to my actual things, and I'm able to select a stop loss. Same things if I ever want horizontal support and resistances. You can see I've saved the resistance. I've saved the actual support as well. And you can see how I like using the horizontal rays off of the data that I'm using now. But there we go. Now I can set a support. Let's say support is over there. And I'm then able to set a resistance one as well. And thirdly, you know, you can really start customizing to, you know, um, let's say lows of the actual chart as well as all time highs. So there's the all time high. I can then also make a custom one for all time high. And you see how now I can actually set my whole chart up, save it all as templates. It's important to do this all in the beginning. Then it's all set. So whenever charting comes, we ever need to do anything on your chart. You can make it simple, you can make it easy, and these are all the basics that you're gonna need to know. Last thing I want to show you is if we select a line, you see how you have this little lock section. Now, sometimes you're gonna be busy in your chart and you're gonna move your line by mistake, or you know, it's a line that you don't want to be moved. You want to keep it there, it's either a long-term line or something that you, you don't want to be moving too often, you can lock that line. And every time you touch that line, it won't actually move. So you can lock whatever you want into place and then whatever you, you're just doing to scribble, remember you're gonna be using this as a scribbling board for yourself as well. So guys, that's all I have to show you for right now. Keeping it simple, keeping it easy and keeping it accurate for all the time.
so 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 that's it for this video guys i hope you've enjoyed it remember to hit that like hit that subscribe button notification bell as well as if you are new remember to use the link below many more of these to come i'm excited to teach you all until then i will see you all on the next video